the note taker is developed to help low vision students take notes in class. The problem that they face is that to see a board or see their notes, they need uh, assistive technologies, typically magnifiers. And so the problem that you have with these magnifiers, though, is you've got this great big board. And once you go from looking at your notes, you have to find your s the spot you were last at on the board, commit something to memory, go down, write it on your notes, go back up, find that spot again. And so as you cycle between looking at the notes and looking at the board, uh, you're going to incur delays in note taking that the fully sighted students don't have to deal with. So the note taker works by providing a low vision student with uh, a view of their notes and a view of the board at the same time. So a split screen interface on a tablet. And so you have this tablet here connected to it as a custom designed pan tilt zoom camera. Uh, basically uh, we, we put a shelf uh, outside all the components and make it compact and easy to carry so make it portable and we also made a case so that you can put the camera in that case and carry it around uh, make, uh, generally makes it very easy for students to use. So this is a camera that provides a live view of the board uh, but once you have that view you're going to need to zoom in and so but once you zoom in you're going to need to be able to move the camera about uh, panning it left and right and tilting it up and down. I've handled the hardware and electrical side. I've done a little bit of the programming, but that was for controlling the servos. My major is electrical engineering, and this is the first time I'm actually applying what I've learned. And here I got to build a real-world project that I hope people really use using skills I've learned. And so you can very easily control the camera but just by kind of like on an iPhone. You just put your finger down on any feature in the video and you move it, and wherever your finger goes, that feature stays under your finger as the motors pan and tilt. I've been implementing uh, uh, features for the calibration of the camera right now and uh, it's, I think it's a pretty challenging task ahead. Each, each new feature that needs to be implemented like requires a new set of uh, uh, commands to be learned and uh, it's been fun learning. One of the features that I'm working on is uh, drag and drop although it's not kind of final right now but uh, uh, it's one of the fun features that uh, you would like to see. This project has given me uh, you know, a different kind of exposure. I have worked earlier in the industry, but uh, this, is, uh, this has been more fun. I, I think all of the students on the team would like to see it made into a product. One of the real motivators for the team, and uh, I think the thing that's really caused a passion to drive them forward on this, is that they're really hoping that this can be uh, produced as a product and made available to students with uh, uh, visual disabilities. So there's about 20 million low vision adults in the United States and fewer than 40 percent of them to participate in the workforce and we believe that the inaccessibility of education is in large part to blame for that and so rather than pursuing a policy solution we believe that equipping them with portable assistive technology that allows them to make an environment accessible according to their own needs is the way to to rectify that problem.